Hi guys, today is Monday. It is our first full week back before break and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kristen and I'm a high school math teacher. Um, today and this whole week we are reviewing for our exams and this video is going to be about me transforming my classroom for next semester. So next week we have exams. This whole week we're just reviewing with different things like Kahoot, Trash Get Ball, things like that. And I'll briefly discuss those each morning or each day that we do something. But this video is mainly going to be me redoing or transforming my classroom. Um, I'm taking down all my Christmas stuff, hanging up some Valentine's Day stuff. Um, and rearranging stuff because I'm no longer just teaching algebra. So this semester I just taught algebra one, so all my bulletin boards are like that, different things. So I need to set it up because um, I'm also going to be teaching geometry next semester, which I'm a little nervous about. I've never taught geometry before, and since I'm only teaching second semester, I kind of have to figure out like what they did last semester, where to pick up, things like that. So. I'm going to be transforming my classroom so that I have algebra and geometry stuff. Um, so that's kind of what this video is going to be about. So stay tuned. Okay, I just wanted to share with you that I just cleared this out. I also took down my Christmas border that was up there. So I just wanna share with you the other things I'm gonna be doing this week so you have a heads up of what you know to expect. So I have my algebra missing work file folder with all the dates on it. I need to transform this one into the geometry one. I then have my data tracking board. But if you notice this side, is my algebra with my vocab words on it. I'm going to make a geometry vocab words where my data tracking is. My data tracking is then going to flip to the front of the room and go where my fold, uh, phone holder is. My phone holder is then gonna go on the back of my door to my classroom. And then another thing I'm gonna be doing is putting up the tape for my weekly agenda so I have the days and then I have algebra's weekly agenda and then I'm going to put another tape line and have geometry's weekly agenda and if you can't tell my students wanted me to count down until spring break so you know lots of days left till spring break but they wanted me to put it up so I did and that's kind of what I'm else what else I'm going to be doing my room is kind of bare oh I'm also going to be putting up my valentine's day holiday board in my holiday section and I haven't decided, I keep wanting to decorate the cabinets, um, and I used to have Halloween decorations down here, so I'm still trying to figure that out, but mainly those are the things I'm updating for geometry versus algebra. All right, so I have a question. With this being Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday right here, I'm gonna put algebra right here, geometry right here. Should I label or draw a black line, not draw, but tape a black line across the top and label it algebra and geometry, or should I just leave it the way it is? Let me know in the comments what you think. Hi guys, it is Wednesday. I almost said it was Thursday, but it is Wednesday and I'm not really doing any updating in my classroom today. I still have to finish my Valentine's bulletin board. Um, tonight I'm spray painting the like clear matte like spray paint on them so they're not glossy so that they don't reflect as much. So I'm doing that tonight so I'll be able to put on my Valentine's bulletin board tomorrow so I will videotape that. And so not only do anything else, I have to make these tabs. So like for my missing work, I have the little tabs that have all the dates on them. So like if you're missing on the 6th, they go to the 6th and they find whatever paper they're missing. So I have that. So I have to remake or make another 31 days. So I have to do that. Um, and I'll probably do that a little bit this planning period. And then 
today I wanted to share what we're doing for a review. We're doing solving equations. Um, yesterday we did all of chapter one and Monday we did chapter one. Today we're doing chapter three which is all about solving equations. And so I have my little dry erase markers and um, boards and erasers that we are going to do trash get ball. So some of you have may have done trash get ball before but I don't know if we all play the same way. But they'll be in teams or groups, and I'll put up an equation. They have to solve it. doesn't matter if you're fast or slow, but each team has a team name with 10 lives on the board. And then if, you get, if your team gets that equation correct, I'll give you a thumbs up. And once everyone's done, you'll come up to the front of the room, and I have a recycling bin or a trash can or whatever you want to use with a ball, some type of ball. I have a tape ball that I made last year. And then I have three lines on the ground, a closer one, a medium one, and a far away one. So if whoever wants to come up from your team, they will shoot a, the tape ball into the bin. If they make it, that's how many lives they can take away. So the first one would be like just taking away one life, then two lives, and three lives if they make it from the far away one. And they could take it away from one team that they want, they could take away two from a different team, whatever they want to do. Um, so you're trying to like kill the other team. And then if they kill the other team or they kill a team, that team now has special powers um, that end up doubling the amount that they can take away, which I think is kind of a twist to trash get ball. But that's what we're going to do today, so I just wanted to share that. And then I will continue changing my room around tomorrow. It is finally Friday and I'm super excited because this week has been long. I don't know about you guys, but review weeks just seem like very long, especially when you have five days of them. I kind of did every other day like a fun like a fun activity or a game, but the boring days are kind of boring because they either don't work on the packet or some kids do, and if they're not working on it, their behavior is crazy because they're bored or already done. And then the game sometimes got a hand, but most times they're engaged, so it's like back and forth, but today's Friday. I will eventually take you around and show you kind of what I ended up with doing this week. I do have a couple questions um, or opinions that you guys can share with me. Um, but today I walked into school with my Stanley with plain water, which I hate drinking plain water, but I'm trying to drink more. My iced coffee, and then I also brought flavored water. So I walked in with three drinks today. I don't know what is with me, but that's what happened. I also have my Little Bites muffins. I also had to bring a coworker to school yesterday or to work yesterday, and he brought me some chocolate chip cookies. Like, not that I need chocolate chip cookies or not that I need four of them, but God bless. So that was really nice of them. Today we are doing our last day of review. I will show you around what I did to update my classroom a little bit. I don't know if I'm completely done yet, just because I still had those opinions. I'm looking for some ideas. So taking you along my classroom, I did the Math Can Transform Your Heart. I thought this was cute because I am teaching geometry and transformations and things like that. I thought it was cute. And for Valentine's Day, I also did my geometry missing work. Just like I have my algebra missing work, I'm missing a few dates. I only go up until 25, um, so I had to order a few more of those, so that's coming. So my question and concern is this geometry board. So on the other side, my algebra board, I have these hexagon that have vocab words in the topic that we're studying. So I have that off TPT, I also have it for geometry. But I thought about taking down the hexagon because they're kind of a pain in the butt to take off and on like every time we change like topics. But I thought about doing, what do you call those things? I can't think of it. But like um, it's on the giant piece of paper and it kind of summarizes the topic you're doing. I'll have to insert the word that I'm trying to think of. But it's like one of those giant post-it papers and you put like big letters and ideas from that chapter. 
So I thought about putting up the giant poster there for both of them so then they could easily be changed with the paper each topic or each chapter. So let me know if you think that's a good idea or if I should just stick with my hexagons. And then again, I showed you this before, but I have my geometry spot. I don't know if I should label the tops of them algebra and geometry. So let me know what you think on that as well. I have our lovely exam schedule up for next week. I also tried to take this down, which is a phone holder, and put it on my door. The problem was the hooks that I was using were not big enough to go around my door. So I'm going to end up taking this down and this is going to become my data tracking, which my data tracking was on that geometry board, but I'm going to take that down and insert a picture of what I'm ordering off of Amazon for my phone holder instead because I realized based on my classroom, this is a wall of windows, I don't really have a good spot to hang it besides the door and it doesn't work. So I'm going to buy something off Amazon. I'll insert a picture and show you that as well. But that's pretty much all I did. I have this bulletin board behind me that I'm still, you know, trying to figure out what to do with. Oh, this reminds me. My last question is I have this rolly cart that I use for like Monday through Friday copies for algebra. And then I have some other like resources down there, my math facts on paper, stuff like that down there. Do I need another one for my geometry Monday through Wednesday or Monday through Wednesday, my Monday through Friday week with their extra copies and stuff? Is it worth it? Should I get another one? I only have one class, so the copies aren't going to be that large. So I could find another way to store them, but this is really helpful. So I might get another one, might not, and I'll keep you updated. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and comment down your opinions if you have any to share. Stay tuned for my next video. I am probably going to do a weekend vlog but I'm also going to New York, um, so I'm gonna try to vlog that as well. So I don't know if we want two weekend vlogs in a row, but I'm gonna do that, and then after that might be some book reviews. So stay tuned. Thank you for subscribing.